guys, I'm back to make another video. So, sorry for being gone so long. As last week was spring break, I was in London and Paris the entire time of spring break. So I could not film any videos while I was away. And I had videos planned to film before I left so that I would have videos to like upload and stuff like that. But I came down with a terrible throat sickness about four days before I had to leave. So I couldn't film because if you can't talk, you can't film. So... Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry for being gone so long. But I'm going to start editing together all my vlogs from my trip. So that'll be a video coming soon. And this video is the makeup that I bought in London and Paris. Because I did a lot of shopping while I was there. And I bought a lot of stuff. So I've split it into two parts. This is the makeup part. And the other part will be the clothing and other things part. Which probably will be a 20 minute video. So I'm sorry for that in advance. But yeah, this is just all the makeup y things that I bought. So yeah, I hope you enjoy and let's get started. So, the first two things I bought were from Topshop because I figured if I was going to London, I had to go to Topshop and buy some makeup because, I mean, they don't have Topshop in Canada. So, and I hear everyone talking about how Topshop's clothes are nice and the makeup's nice and stuff like that. So I bought a lovely dress for my best friend for her birthday and then bought two lippy sticks. The first one is in the color Rio Rio and it's a very nice red orange color. I actually wore this color the other day and I really actually like it. It's a little bit more orange than I thought it was but it's kind of nice because like I know that orange and kind of corally lips are on trend this summer and spring. And the second color that I bought is Straight Ace which is a very very nice purple color. And I've been looking for purple lipsticks. I am starting to grow my collection of purple lipsticks because I wear purple all the time. And if I'm not doing anything interesting with my eyes, I like to do something interesting with my lips. So, you know, fluorescent purple lipstick is the way to go in my mind. The second shop I went to was Primark. I bought lots of cool clothing items from there. So make sure you click the video, which will be in the description eventually to go see that video. But I also bought a lipstick from their brand I'm not necessarily the brand but the brand that they sell there uh it doesn't have not it does not have a color name but I bought it for a pound in case you're wondering but it's just a really nice like baby pink color I wore this color today I don't know how much I like it it's a lot more sheer than I thought it was but I mean I only spent a pound on it so how can you really complain all that much but it's really nice and it's quite pretty and yeah slightly obsessed with lipstick recently so I bought a lot of them. Next I went to H&M. I'm not really sure why I went to H&M because um, I have those back in Canada but um, I was in Paris and I didn't know where to go shopping because I can't read French. I don't know what any of the shops names were so I saw an H&M and was like ooh let's go in there because I know that store. So I went in there and bought some cool clothing items and I also bought this smoky eye thing. I didn't even know H&M sold makeup so I'll have to give this a go. Um, so it's just a nice little kind of very casual smoky eye thing. I actually really only bought this for this purple color. I could really care less about the rest of these colors, but I thought the purple color was very nice. And I mean, this color is really nice too. It's got nice of like, not lots of like gold flecks in it. So probably get lots of use out of this. Next, I was in Boots because I always hear YouTubers talking about how great Boots is in Boots and blah, 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 Boots this, Boots that. And so all the Room in L London products were buy two, get one free. So I bought four because I'm stupid. Um, the first one I bought was a teal eyeliner because I've been looking for teal eyeliners recently. So I bought this one in the Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer in the Waterproof Formula in 250 Emerald Sparkle. So yeah, super excited to wear that eventually when I wear teal again. My whole wardrobe kind of consists of like four or five different colors so I just buy a lot of makeup to like circle around those colors so that basically when I wear those colors I have 20 different options of the makeup look that I can go with those colors because that's basically how my life works. Next I bought the Scandalize Precision Micro Eyeliner in the Waterproof Formula in 001 Black. So this is just a felt tipped eyeliner. I've been meaning to try felt tipped eyeliner for a long time because everyone talks about it so highly. So I bought this one because it was like cheaper and I've used it twice already and I actually like it. Like it's easier because I love gel eyeliner. Like gel eyeliner is like my thing. It's like my true love in life. But this it gives you almost the same look but it's like much faster. Like 
So yeah, been enjoying my, that. Do you guys get annoyed when like the cap doesn't fit on the end? Like in my mind, if you're gonna make a cap, you have to make it wide enough so that it fits on the end. Like, cause now when I use this, I have to put the cap down and that is a bigger risk of me losing the cap and this drying out. So attention to all companies that make things with caps. You need to make the cap the same size as the end of the product or a little bit bigger so you can put the cap on the end. Okay. Next, I bought another lip product. <laughs> I bought the Color Rush Long Lasting Intense Lip Balm in 100 Give Me a Cuddle. So it's just like one of the chubby sticks in a really nice kind of light pink color. The final lip product that I bought from Boots was a Rimmel London lipstick in the color 084 Amethyst Shimmer. And this is just a really beautiful like magenta lipstick with like flecks of like purple and pink in it so it makes it like really nice and shiny and reflective I'm super super excited to wear this one as well the last place I went to was Sephora I'm not really really sure why I went into Sephora it's kind of like why I went into H&M like I have Sephora in Canada but I saw it and was like might as well go in there because now forever I can say that I bought these products from Sephora in Paris and not Sephora in Edmonton because that's really boring. Oh, the first thing I bought was a lipstick! Oh, you never would have guessed, would you? No, never. So this one is in Passion Red and it's just like a really kind of more maroon kind of red. I've discovered that I really like the color maroon. It looks really good on me and I really like it. But this lipstick's just kind of a nice like darker red. Most of the reds I have are really like obnoxiously bright or they're kind of like got like purple undertones and stuff like that. This one's just kind of got like brown undertones and stuff like that and it's really nice. And I really love the packaging of this too. Like I don't know if this is the packaging at home but it's so like sleek and gorgeous. And you can see the color at the bottom too which is good. So I bought another product that I have been meaning to buy from Sephora forever. I didn't go to Sephora for a really long time because I was like saving up money to spend in London. So I haven't gone there but I've been meaning to go to buy this. This is a universal lip liner in waterproof. So basically it's just like clear and you just kind of put this around your lips and you use it like a regular lip liner but you can put any lipstick over top of it because it just keeps it from rubbing and going and making a mess in everywhere and stuff like that because I'm f I wanted this be basically because I'm far too lazy to buy a lip liner that kind of goes with every lipstick color that I own because I like my collection of lipsticks grows like every time I go out shopping so I'm far too lazy to buy lip liners that kind of match them all so I just figured that a clear one would be so much easier and just so much more simple you know? And the last two makeup products that I bought from Sephora and on my trip were two eyeshadows. The teal one is in Green Tea Time. You can tell that I really like teal. Like Teal is like a color that I like. And the red is in Red Carpet. I've been looking for red eyeshadow forever because I wear... I have enough like red clothing that I figured I needed like a red eyeshadow to go with it. And I haven't been able to find one in like drugstores. So I was like, okay, I'm going to have to cave and buy one at Sephora. And then I saw this teal and it was just a really bright, or it was just a really nice color. I'm wearing it today actually under, like, over top of a black eyeliner. I don't really like the results to be honest. It wasn't as opaque and, like, matte as I thought it was. So I might need to buy, like, a matte, like, a white eyeshadow so I can put that on first and put this on over. Is white eyeshadow a thing? Is that a real thing? I'm not sure. I'll have to go investigate that. I do a tutorial on that because that could be helpful. Um, but yeah, that is all the makeup that I bought in London and Paris. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a like and comment down below if you're excited to see my vlogs or you like any of the makeup products that I bought, if you would buy them or comment whatever you'd like to comment. And please subscribe down here somewhere if you would like to see more of my videos in the future because it would really be nice if you would subscribe. Yay. Okay. So, yeah, I will see you guys soon. Bye!